You ready? Yeah. Okay. What's your name, honey? Veronica. Okay, you're not the Veronica that just got exposed by your ex-husband, Ru well, your husband, Rudy, are you? No, I'm the Veronica where your cousin told me. I don't know if it was... Wait, your Wi-Fi is acting up now, too. Wait, hold on. Your Wi-Fi is acting up, too. Hello? Okay, I'm going to stay in my living room. Can you hear me? You're frozen on my screen. Okay, this is better. You're live again. That's better. And you got to stop moving. So you said you're the Veronica what? Um, Your cousins like clown me. I don't know if you guys couldn't hear me. You were saying something about a lab or something where I had to wait a couple seconds to answer questions. And like, I don't know, they couldn't really understand me. Like, um, I was saying I'm CBRF certified. They were saying I'm CPR certified. And it was just a whole lot. It's been a while though. Okay, we could do it again, but you got to make sure your Wi-Fi is good this time. You ready? Okay. Uh-huh, okay. I'm ready. Okay, V. V, how old are you? I'm 30. 30. 30, what do you do for a living? Um, I, I do a lot. Um, I'm a healthcare provider. Um, right now, I'm at Walmart. I kind of bounce all over. Um, I make wigs. Um, I kind of do oh, a lot. Okay. I'm in school. How old are you, V? Um, or you're 30? So what do you want me to what, what do you what do you want me to write for your profession? Um entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. And but it's wigs, healthcare provider, and Walmart. Yep. Do you have any kids? Yes, I have two. How old are your two kids? I have a three-year-old and I have a six-year-old. Are, are they by the same man? No. Why are you not with the three-year-old dad? You did this last time. Um, <laughs> We're going to do it again. I don't remember. Okay. And it's a, it's a question okay, um, I'm not with him. I'm not with him because he's just not right. He He's Hispanic, okay? He's not black. Um, He's like, I would say a leech. He don't want to. He I'm like the man of the relationship. He don't want to do the things he's supposed to do like far as going to work and getting a job, like working the legal way. He wants to work the illegal way. So like he can't get his nowhere he see his future. V, I'm gonna be honest with you. Your Wi Fi's not V, your your Wi Fi's not on your side, honey. So you said this is the other oh, time we had a lag. Your Wi Fi isn't isn't on your side tonight either. Okay, let's say it right there. Let's see if this works. Now what did you say the reason you're not with your child's father that's three years old? He's not, he's, he don't have his shit together. Put it like that. He's not, he's not a man. He, he doesn't have, have his things down pack of what a man should be. He's not in order. He's just all over the place with it. Can I ask you a question? Was he ever in order? Before when we, we are high school sweethearts. So yes, I, I would say he, he was in order before he was, I'm not going to lie. He was, he well, had it. High that school, was well, high school is a, high school is not fair because high school is high school child. Yeah, we, I would say up until we were 21. We stopped. We broke bad at 21. Put it like that. Let me ask you this. You 16. said that you want to... Okay, what was you going to say? From 16 to 21, we broke bad. So okay, like you're 30 years old. Okay, you're 30 mm -hmm. years old. Your baby's three, so you got pregnant at 26. Yeah, maybe right. We had a first, we had a first, we had a miscarriage. We had our first child back in 2015. And that was a stillborn baby. That was like our first child. And like soon after we lost our baby, everything just, it broke bad. He started another relationship right away. And it just went down from there. And it was like, he would continue to come back and dip in my life. And then dip back out. Just in and out. Well, I'm very sorry you lost your child. Your, your baby was stillborn. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I want to ask this question. Let me just ask this question directly. When you were dealing with him, did you know he was in the streets? No. No. So when you got pregnant with your three-year-old child, you, what did you think his job was? Well, when I got pregnant with my three-year-old child, like I said, we were dipping. We wouldn't. I wasn't in a relationship with him. What did you think his? Hold on, B, B. What did you think? Uh -huh. What did you think? 
What did you think his job was before you got pregnant with him by your three-year-old child? What did I think his job was? What do you mean? Like, what, what do I think his because job was? Because you're telling me, because I asked you why you are not with a three-year-old child. And rightfully so, you said he's in the streets, he doesn't want to get his life together, he doesn't. And I and those are all good reasons, but I'm trying to figure out, did you get pregnant with him knowing those things? So I'm asking you, what did you think his job was before you got pregnant by him? To hit it and quit it. It was just, it was booty calls. It was just us just not working the relationship. It was just, we were just v, having sex. V, honey, v, v, honey. Come on. You're not answering my question. My question is very clear. And I know the cousins be getting mad, but this is why at times it's a challenge with women because y'all just won't answer the question. The question is quite simple. What did you think his occupation was when you was having sex with him? I mean, hey, he didn't have an occupation at the moment. I mean, he was, I'm not gonna lie, he was working, but. Okay, so I, but listen, I'm just trying to get you to realize you knowingly was participating with him in that way. So you 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 said the reason you're not with him is the same thing you accepted with about him. Like you were sleeping with him knowing he was all those things. You didn't he didn't lie to you. That's who he was and you move forward with him and end up getting pregnant. So I'm just trying to I'm trying to help you take some accountability in knowing yeah. who you got pregnant by. But this is the issue. I'm going to say this overall. Overall, this is a real challenge for women in general. I have at times with the show because it's almost like women do not want to admit that there is an accountability factor in these relationships. They just want to focus on the man. But I think if we could focus on the facts, we could learn from the mistakes and move forward. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. Okay. All right, so now that we got there, and, and and the question would have been very simple if you would have just answered it when I was asking you, girl, but let's keep going. No, because so, it's a whole story behind it. I really want to get in deep to how I got pregnant. It's a story be how, how I got pregnant. Like I was saying, we was dipping and dabbing in. Like the whole world know, everybody know, people around me. The way I got pregnant is, okay, I had was in a relationship with a white man, and I had made a status on Facebook stating, you know, like I'm no longer going to be available. I'm I'm not going to be single anymore. And my baby dad hopped in my inbox that night. Oh, can we sleep together one more time? I see you found you a man. You doing you. I'm doing me. Great. I slept with him that one night. Mind you, we always slept with protection. He slipped the condom off. Mind you, to this day, after we slept together, he slipped the condom off of me to not knowing because he was hitting it from the back. And he announced he slipped the condom off. And he laughed. A month later, I was pregnant. Still to this day, he he laugh about it like it's a joke. Still to this, he he knowing his doing. We had been sleeping together, mind you. We lost our baby in 2015. He's been the only man I've been sleeping with. It took for him to 2020 to get me pregnant. And the way he got me is he slipped the condom off, and he knows to this day like he trapped me. But still, at the same time, me being me, yeah, I knew who I was sleeping with, but I wouldn't suspect for him to play it down like that, you know, and not step up and be the dad uh, after me knowing him all these years. You know, it's been. Almost 13, 14 years that I've known him. And it's just, it's just wow. I don't even want to get into him. I'm just, it's just wow. <laughs> yeah. It's dirty. Okay. I mean, okay. Mm -hmm. So basically you you were just trying to have enjoyment sex. Y'all had a yes. condom. He slipped the condom off and that's yes. how you got pregnant. Words to mother. I kid you not. I, I swear that's exactly how it happened. And he laughed about it. And, you know, me being me, I'm like, OK, ain't nothing going to happen. Me, I'm at my white man house and I'm throwing up and I'm like, OK, it's time for my period. And for you know what, oh, I'm oh, pregnant. Oh, so at that time, at that time, you were in a relationship with a white man? Yeah, I was starting a relationship. You know, I was, you know, we had been friends for a while and then we wanted to take it up a notch. So it was like, you know, so, so talk to me. I have a question. So you slept with him while you was in a relationship with someone else. Yeah, we never had sex though. My white man, we never had sex. We were friends. But that's we not, were getting ready. I'm, I'm just asking. I'm asking you a clear question. You we were friends. Y'all, y'all. Okay, this, this, these, these conversations be so complicated because y'all just don't be wanting to answer the questions, y'all. I you just told you we were friends. Okay, so what did you? Okay, what was the Facebook status again? 
I met a, a friend. We're taking it up a notch. I'm no longer going to be single because we were getting ready to get serious. So it was like, okay, now it's time to stop playing around, cut everybody off, let it be known. I found someone. Okay, so, so before okay, we begin, right there. So pause, okay, pause right mm -hmm. there. So you you made a Facebook status saying you found someone, you're going to be serious in this relationship. He hit you up and you still slept with him. Yes, my. I mean, it's my baby's dad. I told you I was, he was like, can we sleep together one last time and da da da. And it was like, hey, okay, let's just one last time. That's it. So he caught me on that last round. Maybe if you would have just stayed true to your Facebook post and been with the man that you had claimed that you were about to be with. I mean, I'm not saying it's right that he slipped the condom off, so don't think that's true. But what I'm just trying to get women to understand is if you can hold yourself accountable for the re for the consequences of your actions, you can then choose better actions. And the truth yeah. be told is you should have never slept with him because you said he was in a new relationship. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. That's the only way to answer this question is the reality is this. You should have been loyal to the man you put out to the world you was about to be loyal to. And that's how your three-year-old child got here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now that we got clarity, and no, I'm not blaming your child's father. I, I mean, you guys are equal participants. Because let me tell you yeah. something else too, ladies. What y'all don't realize is the, the best flex is when your ex comes back and you're not available. That was the prime yes. opportunity for you to, to, to prove to him, like, no, you moved on. Because if you really are a good woman, because I hear everybody, y'all are good women, right? If you're a good woman, you're going to mm -hmm. find a, a better man. And then your ex mm -hmm. is going to try to see if he still got power, because that's the ego thing. Like, your ex wants to prove, like, yeah, she got a man, but I can still hit it when I, when I want to hit it. This yeah. is your prime opportunity to prove to your ex no, I got a new man and I'm not doing that. And you lost out on a good woman. But instead, you proved to him that he could still have you if he wanted to. Yeah. It's the the biggest flex learning. is not being available for your ex when he tries to come back. The biggest flex Amen. is not being available for your ex when he tries to come back. That's Take that as a lesson, ladies. Now let's start, V. We got V, 30, healthcare, entrepreneur. She makes, she works at Walmart. She makes wigs. Mama, two kids. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Taurus. When's your birthday? May 20th. Okay, May 20th. All right, May 20th. And what, what city you live in? Wisconsin. West what? Wisconsin. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh, Milwaukee. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Wisconsin. All right. V, 30, is a tourist, mom of two kids, never married, right? No. Never married. Um, has a three-year-old and a six-year-old. We got the backstory. Um, entrepreneur calling us from Milwaukee. What kind of man are you looking for now? Um, independent, someone who's looking to build, not looking to get built up. Like I want my man already built. Someone who knows what they want. Okay. A man that knows what he wants. What are your deal breakers? Mm, uh, I would say liars. Um, someone who's not committed. Don't know how to keep their word. Just be a man of your word. Okay. Um, does he have to look a certain way? Um, no, not necessarily. I don't, I'm not kind of like a into the look type of girl. So the looks doesn't really matter to me. Okay. What about money? So you make a certain amount of money? Mm, yeah, he got to bring in the bacon. <laughs> at least how a much bacon thousand. he has to bring in? He, he needs at least a couple hundred thousands a year, at least. A couple, a couple has at least 200K a year? Yeah, at least 200K a year. So I'm assuming your three-year-old dad made that because he was working in the streets, right? <laughs> no, he made 90, 90K a year. 
Have you ever dated a man that was two hundred? Now the streets money. I never really counted the streets money because I wasn't into that. So like that's a straight turn off. But far as like working, he made ninety k for like an actual job. But all the street, I never counted the street money because I never seen it. So he wasn't never around me with it. So I can't sit there and say what he made off the street money. But I don't know. Okay. Have you have you just curious? Have you ever dated a man that made two hundred k? Yes, I have. Yeah, what what was his occupation? He um he's, he had rental properties and he inherited it a lot. So like um my my rich white guy I'm telling you about. So he um he owned rental properties. He had a forty. The rich white guy that you had a great chance with, but you slept with the baby daddy and got pregnant. Oh, don't do it like that. But yes. <laughs> so did, I mean, did y'all yes. break up once you once once you had to reveal something that you were pregnant? No, we we actually were friends for a while. You know, I never took it to the relationship part, but he was still a great guy, and it was just like I allowed for my baby daddy to like. Okay, well, hold on, but he's up. not an option because I'm asking you, did you ever date a man that made two hundred k? Now you're telling me y'all were just friends. So which one is it? I mean, he was kind of. I was he sponsored me, so we never. When I say date, I never mean like we never slept together, but. We were working towards things. We never had a sexual relationship out of the years we've known each other. Because I've known him for seven years now. I haven't talked to him in maybe two years, but I, I'd known him for a while. So it wasn't like, you know, he's met my family, took my families on trips, cabin logs a lot. So like it, I would consider it kind of dating. I mean, I even got engaged to him. So he even proposed to me. Wait, so, I have a question. Yeah. So you guys never in life had sex? No, we were saving it for marriage. He, we were saving it for marriage. How long and I know this, him. How, long, how old was this rich white man? Huh? How old was he? Oh, he was uh, 59. Yeah. So 59 years old. So you said he mm -hmm. sponsored you. So you, he was paying your bills and stuff? Yes, paying my bills, taking me on trips. Supporting me with anything I needed. He was so, like, uh, we were friends before anything. But I mean, knowing that we wanted each other, it wasn't like, it was just like we wasn't moving fast. It wasn't like he were pressuring me to do things, even though he, I, I know myself, he wanted to sleep with me, but it was just him being the man that he was. He was gentle with patience with me. He knew that, you know, I, I really don't like sex before marriage. So it's like, he was really big you know, on that. Who doesn't me. like sex before marriage? I don't the, the, discourage my baby daddy, but far as getting in the street, sleep with other men, I, I can vouch. I don't, I don't do that. So besides but have, my baby daddy, have, that's my. Two, wait, wait, hold on. Yeah. You have, you have yep. two baby daddies, right? I do. Yes. So when did you start the rule? You don't believe in sex before marriage. Hmm. I started that kind of. Um, after my son, after I gave birth to my son, I mean, I've been just only sleeping with my. So basically, the white guy, you didn't want to have sex with him. So what is? I did, but I didn't. I did, but I didn't. I didn't want to add a new collect. Why would say this? It's 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 a body count thing. I don't want to add another body count. If I'm still sleeping with my baby dad, who I've been sleeping with for the last fifteen years, why go add a new body count when you know? I can just go sleep with him and get it over with and then what was the kind of man you told me you wanted again honey what was the kind of what was the qualities he said what what were the people are paid to ask you questions too um you said what ray was j i'm gonna read these first ray j said she was trying to get that pension <laughs> L -W said, kendra you can't make this stuff up miss kendra lw says you want a man that makes 200k Please elaborate on what you're bringing to the table in the relationship. My own everything, my own business. I, oh, I, I didn't mention that neither. I have my own, my own business. I have an LLC. I am a um, care provider. My business is called Care for by Angels. So that's my business by itself will bring that in. I've had that business for a year now. So I now, to now, my own please. everything. V, I'm, listen, I, I'm, yes. trying to, I'm trying to understand, so you got to stop moving. So you want a man that makes 200K, and you also don't want to have sex until you're married? Is that still your rule? Um, That would be hard. I mean... But it wasn't hard with the 59-year-old white man. 
No, it wasn't because I we we grew into that. We grew into that. We were friends before anything. So we were friends and then it just turned to liking each other. And then it's like, okay, so where could we take it from here type of thing? It wasn't no, hey, my friend who sponsored me. It was, hey, how you doing? And it, he came to me, actually. He, he came up to me and Dave and Buster. I was taking my kid out for Dave and Buster. And he just came up to me and was like, hey, how about you pick your kid any toy in the store? Like literally anything he wanted in the store. And my son grabbed the smallest teddy bear and they just went on from there. It wasn't like. Okay, were, V, let me say like, this. So V, you're you're saying you want another man like this. You want another man that's gonna spoil you in this way that makes two hundred K. I don't necessarily have to be no man to spoil me. I do everything I for I spoil myself. I do everything for myself. Then why does a man have to make two Okay, so with that so but you told me that the man has to make at least a couple of hundred, which is I a couple is two. So two hundred K to date you. Um and you've never really dated a man that made 200K other than the white guy that was doing stuff for you that you didn't have sex with, correct? Oh, I, I have another friend. I have another friend, another white okay, friend. Okay, I'm, I'm actually so We okay, can get deep. You, let me, this, let me ask I, you this. Go ahead. This get deep over here, Kendra. It just it, it, it may take some times, but it get deep over here, baby. I have another friend who just placed me in a... Uh, a Hummer uh, 2002 H2 sitting up on 26s, and I've never slept with him either. Like, all my friends are wealthy. I I come across, across wealthy friends. I don't, I mean. Okay, so, V, with that being said, V, with that being said, why call me? Why not just date these wealthy men that are buying you trucks, taking care of your kids? What is the point of you calling me? If They're you friends, Kendra. What's wrong with having friends? They're friends. Well, honey, I'm trying to. Well, you you're bringing them up and dating. Now I'm asking you clear questions. No, this is where see, I get aggravated. This is where I get because I'm getting aggravated because you said dating. dating. Listen, honey, V V, you, you tested my patience. So here is the question I'm asking you. You bringing up these men when I'm asking you, have you ever dated a man that has 200k? One time they're friends, one time they're not. My thing is, if you got two men who are fooling you. Then, girl, you got it. There's no need for you to call me. Kendra. Wouldn't that be the truth? What's your, de what's your definition of dating? Because there's two definitions of dating. There's a definition of dating. There's a definition okay, of friends. Okay, let me ask you this. What is your idea of a relationship that you're seeking? What What is the definition of a relationship to you? An ideal of a relationship? Well, I am a homebody, so someone who knows how to take care of home, someone who, who knows how to take care of a woman, Someone who who knows how to go work, go to work, and come home and take care of a family. So these men, so so these men are not relationships. They're because they're not these people. They're not partners with you, right? I mean, they they could be, but I'm not sleeping with anyone. Men get upset when you don't want to sleep with them. So if you you're upset because I don't want to sleep with you, I'm gonna friend zone you. I don't go off giving up the goodies. You're gonna be my friend for anything. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fuck your brain before I fuck what's in your pants. I want to know what's up here before I want to know what's down there. So I come across a lot of men who don't have the patience for that. They want to right away. I'm not that girl. I'm sorry. It's not gonna fly like that. I want to know what you got up here before there. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not coming on here no, looking for somebody to hunt on right away. V, I'm huh? actually very confused. I'm very confused. I, I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, because you're trying to, you must thought it was a busted open game over here. No, it's not like that. You don't get what I'm no, saying because I'm not a freak. What I'm telling you, you don't have to know that I'm not going to fuck her away. Then there, you're going to be friend zone. What's so hard? Well, girl, when they buy you Hummers, tell them to buy you Wi Fi. Tell them to buy you some Wi Fi for your damn. Wi -Fi. Listen, I know you listen, got I got what I need. Sort of it ain't got nothing to do with the Wi Fi, honey. It's the area I'm in right now. I'm not even at home. It's the area I'm in right now. It got nothing to do with the Wi Fi. When I ask questions, if you answer them, everything is easy. As you just saw with V, every time I asked a question, we had a whole backstory. We had a whole thousand things that I never got to the conclusion. I actually am wide awake. I probably would have hung up on her too. But here's the challenge we have with women. The more questions, not all women, so let me say that because this is not a reality for all the women. But the more questions I ask to get to the root, the more they don't want to answer. The more all of a sudden we get a different answer that, that contradicts the first answer. And at some time, child, this is exhausting. 
Now, I'm going to say this. She does not represent all black women. So I want to be clear on that. We've had, I don't, I don't like representation. Michelle Obama's a black woman. Sexy Red is a black woman. Okay. So therefore you can't make a blanket statement that applies to all women when it comes to a race. She represents herself. She represents herself. Now, here is the problem that we're having. There are some women who do not want to hear the truth about the responsibilities of what they're playing and the roles in their life. And that's just the facts of life. You want to talk in circles all day long. You do not want to get to the root that you played a role in the reality that you're living right now. And because of this role that you played, you are still attracting a certain person or a certain type of person. And again, I want to be clear, she does not represent all black women. This is not a black woman issue. This is an individual case by case situation. So you guys see it for yourself. You see it for yourself. And I'm, I'm happy I let that go as long as I did. So you guys can see this crazy shit for yourself.